Hi everybody, so I've just arrived in the northeast of China. So I'm in Heilongjiang province and here we are at the lion's mane farm. So lion's mane is one of those trickier medicinal mushrooms um, to grow and it's been really wiped out in the wild and so semi-wild crafted practices are what we, what we go for and what we do best. So you can see here, you know, outside is like right there and the reason it's grown up north here is because the temperature swings between night and day are so large so you're gonna get more adaptation coming into this medicinal mushroom because it's had to deal with so much more stressor from the environment now lion's mane is that neurological brain activating memory activating cognitive mushroom that everyone's getting such amazing results with when it comes to getting in and nourishing the gray matter, the white matter, um, even getting into the nerve endings and helping to repair damaged nerves. It's lion's mane, the one that's got like a lot of research behind it and people are getting some amazing results with it. And it's just going off at the moment because it is so effective and we have so much neurodegeneration in our world. Having a medicinal mushroom nootropic you know, that's neuroprotective. It's just couldn't have come at a better time. And so what we're growing in here is 10 year old oak chips. And so this isn't grain, this is grown on wood chips. And again, it's like the closest you can get to the practice in terms of a growing practice that is um, gonna give you a wild, um, wild product. So the spores for these lion's mane, they aren't just gathered from you know, these little pups here to reseed the next generation. Every, um, every series of spore seeding in these bags, in these wooden chips, comes from a, a mother mushroom from the wild. So it's wild spores going and in inoculating these bags here to give us a superior product. And it's why people get such amazing results when it comes to our lion's mane. A lot of effort goes in. Even to the philosophy just chatting here about their process of going into the wild and finding those mother mushrooms and collecting the spores. And the fact, and the, the, the farmer here was just telling me, the farmer, um, he's, uh, he's got an absolute love affair with this mushroom. It's really beautiful to get confirmation. I knew it, but you know, it's really, really beautiful to see it and feel it. He was saying in the wild, if you see one lion's mane, you're gonna, you know that in like behind that tree or in that proximity is another one because they like growing in couples. They like being in relationship, he just said. And so that's why they have them in this way, facing each other and back and onto each other nice and close. So you can keep that romance and that relationship going with this lion's mane. So beautiful stuff going on here. Um, next steps for me, uh, to um, upgrade this plastic because it's like it's an absolute like you need to you need to do it in order to contain to contain the wood chips and it's not one of those mushrooms that can easily be grown on logs like others that we do so there's a gap there that I because we um super feast is going plastic free we're going to be looking for something there's a lot of um uh, there's a lot of ideas swing, swimming around our heads to make sure that we can get plastic out of the operation entirely and that's something I'm going to be talking about um, from here. So guys, let me know if you've got any questions about the way that we farm lion's mane here. Um, basically, I've just gone and harvested a bunch like so. Boom. And you can see. Nice, beautiful, big monkey head mushroom lion's mane mushroom all that brain magic that neuro magic i brought it into the range originally to give to my mother after she had a brain injury and i've been taking it uh for the last five years religiously and absolutely loving the results and i know you guys are loving the results as well so we're up in pristine um pristine northeast i've just flown in and i just couldn't believe how mountainous um a little like there's just no industry up here and it's the air is just like it's clean it's crisp and so you know you're getting all that wilderness going into your lion's mane yeah love it guys